Alright, people, wrestling fans, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to OUE. Um, talk about something that I, it made me mad when I saw, I, I when I first saw it, I thought it was a little, talking about wrestling, talking about WWE, talking about Triple H and Page. Probably seen some stuff on it, and you probably with the other, now, for some of the comments that I've seen, I normally don't read comments and, uh, things, but, uh, well, I think it was, what, this Saturday, or was it, when was the um, NXT UK pay-per-view? Saturday, Sunday. It was one of them. And I guess after, you know, if you paid attention to some of the stuff, I don't, but maybe y'all do. Triple H had like an like interview, and they was asking him about all type of stuff, and then they asked him about, hey, the, yo, it was a report that Edge and Paige are going to be back in, are going to possibly be at the Royal Rumble. And I'm in the match, in the Royal Rumble match. For women and uh, men, and he went to basically just say, hey, you know, if they medical check out, we take our medical, we take out taking care of our superstars seriously and whatnot, and we don't want them to go out there and, and they, you know, the, 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 the correct thing to say is that you don't want your person that got a serious injury as Paige and um, is to have. To, worse than they health. Yeah, to worse than they health. I mean, he wanted to say that yo, Ed's had kids. And then he was like, yo, Paige got kids. Probably, she probably got kids that she don't even know about. Simple thing. And then he waited because it was a joke. And then one person finally got like, oh, yeah, because Paige ain't got no kids. It was a joke. But somehow that went into, it went left quickly. And I'm like, and I saw it. And I'm like, what? And then, like, I didn't really understand it until, like, I guess she finally, like, because you can't, like, that's my thing I like made me mad about it because she comes out with, yeah, I know, like, my, even my boss make jokes about me. Now I see why everybody else do. And it, like, you got to give me a little bit more context because I didn't get there. Then she, I guess, again, like, everybody jumped on it, Nikki Bella and... Um, Renee Young, then her boyfriend both came out, called Triple H the scumbag and stuff. He eventually apologized, which I knew he would. N and I get it, you apologize because you didn't know that that was going to set that person off. But at the same time, uh, Paige, because she comes in the day and I'm like, yo, because this is the part I seen today that she was like, the reason that she was mad is because she can't have kids. I didn't know that. Did you know that? Nope. People in the comments, did y'all know that? Let me know in the comment section. Because maybe Triple H probably didn't know that. Probably about five or six years ago. But. And he had to manage and talk about looking medicals for everybody else. And you tell him he supposed to just remember that one thing about you. No, not, not even not even that. Not even that. That he had to remember it. He could have remembered it. But that's not what he was meant to say. You know. He was just having fun. And told a joke. Mm -hmm. Like he didn't he wasn't trying to be malicious toward Paige at all. See, this is that 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 that, that, that fake wokeness that we got going out in the country today. Where what you're seeing is people being oversensitive, man, and people not get not healing from things that have happened to them in their life. The stuff that you see from the feminist women out here and Generalizing and projecting the action and views of some men on all men because these women are refusing to heal from the problems and the trauma that they had in their life. So what you saw here in this page thing were two things happening. One, people start projecting, start projecting themselves, their ideas onto Triple H. First, he make these comments when he make this joke. The first thing comes out, people think, oh, he's talking about the sex tape. He's talking about the sex tape. He mm -hmm. wasn't. Then she projects her own trauma onto Triple H. Oh, he's saying, because I can't have any children. He wasn't. He wasn't. He was just telling the joke. Mm -hmm. And it and, wasn't, and, and, you know, this is stuff like people say, oh, this Man, that person don't know how many kids they have out there or whatever. It's not malicious. He didn't mean to hurt no one. And that's why I said when someone and, say something, bro, context, 
and intent. It matters. It matters. And you and, and you shouldn't have to uh I don't think Triple H have to hold your hand like you a kid to explain things to you. Mm-hmm. But see what you have, like I said, is just people who have trauma in their life and they refuse to heal from it. And guess what? That's not Triple H's fault. That's not our fault. If if you have been in a relationship with some dude and he trashed you and hurt you really bad, that's not all men's fault in society. You have to take time before you go in your next relationship to reflect and heal from that. Because if you don't, you're going to be angry and mad all the freaking time. Yeah, and now I was like, yo, like, Triple H, them could have been, like, especially, with, like, I don't like, because this is the way that I looked at it, and because you just said some other stuff, and I was like, no, he said that because he just mentioned Edge, and saying that, yo, Edge had kids, wife, family, all of them care about his well-being. He basically saying, yo, we don't know, like, of course he know that Paige ain't got no, got no dang kids, but he was in it, people out there that care about Paige's well-being, we care about Paige's well-being, and I'm yes. like... And, and, what and, so, that, yeah, so, and then and, also the thing of that it like because you brought that up like people projecting about the tape and stuff and it was like um because speaking of renee like before i even get to that but they were like yo you had uh a brother that real right here doing all this crazy stuff talking bad about wwe and they still say yeah babe come on back we love you not only that they did a movie about our life yeah and it was like and promoted like crap Mm-hmm. And I don't even know that movie was good because I never watched it. I never watched it because they said it was a comedy. And I'm like, mm. But that's another story. And see. And then, hold on, let me finish. And then I'm like, yo, for Renee, you talk about all the other stuff about Triple H, them. But uh, on WWE Backstage, you had the Usos up there. And if y'all don't remember that rap battle, they took a shot. Yes. But I ain't, but she was all, she was all up there, buddy, buddy with them. Took a shot, made a joke. That was the same thing that Triple H did, but somehow we need better representation, managers, and people, bosses who understand our pain and stuff. And where fake, fake walk coaching. Well, uh, the Usos took a direct shot. That's what that's what it is, man. It's fake woke culture, man. And that, they brought it up. That's what it is. In that interview, because Creed was there, well, they brought it up, and they were like, wait a minute, hold on. So you telling me, like, a brother that real were mad as hell when they did that. But you telling me that you weren't mad? Now you're mad. Yeah. And, and, and now I, you're mad. But, and and see, when it, when it, she has it double, right? When she said, oh, the fans are poking at me. See, that trauma that was caused when those videos were leaked, that hurt, that pain, yeah, paid is showing you she haven't healed from it. And, and that's another thing, like, I, like, when she said, I'm like, yo, Paige, there's a lot of people, I always tell you this, is that Twitter, especially Twitter, for what just I've awful. seen, it's, yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, you got to, like, awful people out like here, if you have something like that happening to you, the first thing that somebody should have told you would get away, like, I've been saying it, I think I said it off air, but, yo, people should really be trying to check and see that, yo, social media have been compounding with people, as a, as a combina- combination on people and their mental health. Yeah, it, 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 because you gonna have those people up there who love you and who gonna support you yeah. in that time, but then you gonna have those other that people who people. don't care. Because I was just in front, I was just listening to uh, Breakfast Club and Charlemagne, and they were talking about Trick Daddy and Trick Daddy with the hair and stuff. And Trick Daddy comes out and says, "Yo, the reason why my hairline and stuff look like that is because I got lupus." Yeah, and I'm talk about that too. And Charlamagne was like, yeah, but when you on so like, he put that out on the wrong thing. Like, he put that on social media. Them people on social media don't care. He was like, it used to be a thing where if somebody was, like, roasting you or whatnot, and they said something about your mama, and you said, yo, man, my mama dead, that conversation would stop. He said, but now, if you say my mama dead, they going to come at you for your mama being there. And I was like, yeah. Yeah. But that, that's what I'm saying. Like, and then, like, that's why that's why I say, like, when you have these traumas in your life, man, you gotta really take time to yourself, and, and you know, and heal from those things. Because if not, then you become in prison to these other assholes out here. 
Mm-hmm. And they know that they can say things to you that hurts you, that stings you. And that's what people do. Like when we talk about um, Lizio and people talking about her weight, people talk about her weight because they know it stings you. It stings you. When someone calls a gay person, you know, the F word or, or sissy or whatever, they say those things to those people because they know it can sting them. Mm-hmm. So what you have to do is prepare yourself mentally not to let those jackasses get to you because they're going to try. It. It's just horrible people out here. And this is my thing in the political world that I wish people would understand. Man, you cannot legislate people from being a dick. You just can't. People who are jackasses going to be jackasses. You can't legislate that out. And that's why the whole fake woke culture stuff is is it's it's just garbage. It's bad, and it takes people uh, minds off the real politics that's going on in the country. All right, people, hit that like button, subscribe, tell us what you think on this subject matter. Sorry to get a little deep with y'all, but hey, it was a yeah. conversation. It was when I saw it, I just thought it was ridiculous. I had to speak on it. Yeah.